Next guy coming up to the stage. Uh, what can you say? He's Mr. Optimism to me. Would you welcome Larry Brown? <laughs> All right, calm down. Mr. Fun's here. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Someone stole my identity. Now he can't meet women. <laughs> can't say the right thing to anyone. I get pulled over by the highway patrol. Do you know why I stopped you? I said, because I'm black? <laughs> Those batons are hard. I read that 15% of Americans are dyslexic, 15%. I thought, wow, just over half. <laughs> Starting to get health issues. Oh, I hate my doctor. He goes, I need a list of all the women you've had sex with. I'm thinking, oh man, do I have a disease? He goes, no, but if you get them to bed, they'll be real easy for me. <laughs> And he tells me, stay out of the sun. Skin cancer? No, you shouldn't be seen in public. <laughs> so he got me so depressed, I went to therapy. Great psychiatrist, you listened for five minutes, said, Larry, maybe life isn't for everyone. <laughs> I can put you on Prozac, but it might slow down your sex drive. <laughs> slow down my sex drive, that's like putting a leash in a turtle. Give me the pill. <laughs> sex drive? I don't think I could score in a woman's prison with a fistful of pardons. <laughs> and she says to me, well, you're lonely. Have you ever been married? I said, oh, I've never been married, but once I sat in a bear trap. So I... <laughs> I think I'm not right. She says, well, if you get married, you know, when you get older, your kids will take care of you. Yeah, I'll be like 90 in a wheelchair. The kids will be standing over me. What's the pin number? <laughs> Where's the money, old man? <laughs> Gays want to get married. Haven't they suffered enough? <laughs> you can get mail order brides. My luck, she'd choke on the styrofoam peanuts. <laughs> Tough to meet women, you got no money, I got no cash. I dropped out of college thinking wiffle ball was going pro. <laughs> you know things are bad financially when you're hoping to get jury duty for the cash. <laughs> Tough to meet women, I don't like the internet. I like the old personal ads in the paper. You gotta read between the lines though. Like this one woman said she could get lost for hours in a bookstore. Yeah, she had an IQ of 70. <laughs> She'd get lost anywhere. Another one said she had an incurable romantic. Herpes. <laughs> Lives in a gated community, jail. Last one said she liked to take walks in the rain. She was homeless. Got no money. Oh, this lawyer said to me, hey, do you have a will? I said, to live? I said, no, you should make a will, because when you die, you don't want your relatives fighting over your possessions. Yeah, there's going to be a big riot at City Hall, my relatives fighting to get the 84 Fiero and a Dukakis for President button. That's <laughs> funny, because it's true. <laughs> Getting older, starting to get bad thoughts. I don't know, I hate optimists. You know, Life's a box of chocolates. Yeah, well, I'm a diabetic. <laughs> Start to think about death, you know? Wouldn't it be neat if you knew what day you were gonna die, but not the year? <laughs> so I had a friend of mine, this idiot comes up, he was all excited the other day. He found some Viagra, he goes, hey man, you wanna try Viagra? Yeah, give me Viagra's like giving a homeless person a maid. And I got scared. Some people reported a six-hour erection. The only thing going through my mind was six-hour erection. Oh my God, I'm gonna sprain my wrist. <laughs> Did the Viagra work? Yeah, I got carpal tunnel. <laughs> you guys been a lot of fun. Thanks for coming out. Yeah.
did it once. Larry Bubbles Brown, you know. <laughs>